Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Did you know in the recent update to Fallout 76 that some locations have actually been updated and added to and one of which has actually got a new vendor? The location we're going to be focusing on in today's video is going to be the Gilman Lumber Mill. However, there actually are a few more new locations that's been added in in the kind of like surrounding area so make sure to go have a little wander around and check them out for yourself. Since the update, the Gilman Lumber Mill has actually been taken over by the responders, placing a few new NPCs at the locations. Most are actually like pretty generic, but there is two in particular which are very important. The first is the main reason for this video, and that is June Seaver. She is the new vendor that has just been added into the game, and most of the items she sells are focused on helping new players that's kind of like just left the vault and stuff like that. But also hiding in her inventory is actually four new skins which you can actually buy with caps. Included in them is going to be the gunmetal paint as you can see on screen, the rusted paint and also the vault tech paint. It's not exactly clear on how many of these weapons actually like the skins apply to as all it says on there is loadout so please comment below which weapons you've actually tried with these skins. I haven't sat down and tested every weapon in the game so please let me know any that you know do work for sure. Now as well as the three weapon skins, there is also a new backpack skin called the vault Tech Survival Backpack. It's pretty basic but looks alright in my opinion and to be fair, I really like the fact that they're adding all this into the game for caps. It's very similar to what they've done in like Nuka World on tour with some of the items that got thrown in there and I hope they keep doing it along the line. Now also at this location you can find a new NPC called Lane who actually brings a new daily quest into the game. Now with the location the rewards you get from this are kind of like very new player focused I would argue but it has added something new especially for the fans of the responders. If you go and speak with him it'll open up the quest which will send you out on just a couple of like little jobs when you go and do it. As you can see in the footage I got sent out to go and collect some meat from the traps that they placed down in nearby kind of areas surrounding the camp. So yeah go check it out and do the little quests and stuff and just see what it gives you and see how you enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments though what do you think about these new location changes to the locations, which ones have you found and stuff like that and what do you think about these new skins which have been added into the game. That's it for this video, all I really wanted to do was a nice short little update. I did cover this previously but I feel like a lot of people may have missed it so if you did miss it and maybe you haven't visited this location, now you've got something to go and check out. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed so if you did, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.